Ulysses Carrion was Mexican. He started his career as a successful academic writer in Mexico and decided from one day to another to leave liter the classical literature to come to Europe to discover new horizons and broke with his literary career, but literature always stayed in the background of his work. Even if he wanted to break with it, it always came back. Then he studied in England about uh, uh, Shakespeare, worked a while in, with a publishing house in England with Philippe Ehrenberg, and then came to Amsterdam, where he found a ground, let's say, which uh, accepted a lot of foreigners in these times, in the early 70s, and he decided to stay in Amsterdam, where he developed, in fact, all his career as uh, related to visual arts. Amsterdam, in this time, was a very open city. It was... Uh, many, many foreigners came there, uh, from Latin America, from East Europe, from other countries, even from England, and settled there because it was very open to a new kind of life. It was in the late 60s, early 70s, where all these movements were opening themselves to new media also. It was a central city in Europe, so many, many things happened there. And this is why many uh, foreign artists came together there. There was really a soil to grow new ideas related to art. Ulysses, when he arrived in Amsterdam, he met uh, other uh, foreign artists there and they opened a center which was called In Out Center in Amsterdam, an artist run space where I think seven or eight artists came together, shared uh, to pay the rent of this space uh, and could make their own exhibitions in, in there once in a while or invite other artists. When In Out Center stopped, Ulysses wanted to go on with this idea of promoting the type of works he was interested in and decided to create other books and so, which was a bookshop gallery. The first bookshop that opened totally devoted to artist publication in a very large sense. They had uh, sound works, they had books, magazines, all by people who had the same aim of functioning than carry on. There was no decision to make art. The thing is that he, uh, uh, leaving this uh, literary car career, he discovered, because he wrote uh, in this time an important text, which was called The New Art of Making Books. And he wanted, in fact, with this uh, theoretical text of him, to bring uh, the writers to understand that they should not write anymore in the classical way of writing uh, books, because uh, normal books of literature you can read in any way. You can listen to them if somebody reads it. You can put it now on internet or you can put it on computers. But uh, he wanted to get the writer out of the normal page of literature. And this is why he, may, he wrote this text, The New Art of Making Books. The thing is that this text was accepted and used much more by visual artists who in this time, there was a big movement starting with artists who were making artist books. So this was a new way of making artworks. And you, you were making books as a sculpture makes a sculpture. So the, all, the totality of the pages with the cover of the book were the artwork itself. If you take one page out of these books, it's like if you put a hole in a Velasquez, in fact.